What's up, people? I'm back. So good to see you all tonight. Emmett Richie just uh, just subbed. Thank you so much for the sub, and thank you so much to everybody for coming out tonight. Uh, Carencio, hello. Incompatible. Hi. Um, good to see you. T Rex Anus. Uh, Kimmy Cat, hello. Jar Raid, cool man. Cool man, I did get your email. I'm not gonna have a chance to look at that until like probably Thursday. I, I apologize for that in advance. Uh, but thank you. Uh, Triple Horatio, hello. Uh, Lich Pit, hi. Lemon Lion. Uh, also, the plushie is resubbing. Well, back to the family. Well, to the year, boys. Club plush. One year of hot dog money down the drain. Let us lament the loss of the plushie's hot dogs, please. Pour out 40. And bow our heads in reverence for the lost hot dogs. You know what? You don't want hot dogs, okay? They're made out of cow lips and ass. They're made out of kids. It's like literal cow assholes. Come on, you could do better than that. I promise you, you could do better than that. But like a sausage. Like a, like a real sausage. You ever have like a real fucking like a bratwurst? Or like a, like a fucking... Um, Whatever a hot dog is like supposed to be, like a legitimate hot dog made from Fra a Frank a Frankfurter, like from the city of Frankfurt in Germany. That's a real hot dog made from real pork, maybe, and not anuses. They'll get, they they're using like pork shank instead of the anus. I'm fuck talking out of my ass again. I, I don't I don't know. Also, Bubba Fair, feel bad to the family, Bubba. Yeah, you know. Bub Bubba Fair is working like really hard to get banned here because he keeps rubbing it in my face that he he got the moon for the jump rope in uh, in Mario Odyssey, but like, but I didn't. And I don't know. I don't like being reminded of my failures constantly. So I'm considering. I got my my mouse hovering over that ban button uh, for Bubba Fair right now, and I'm having a hard time having a hard time not not clicking on that. I'm just kidding. Congratulations, Bubba Fair, and thank you. Uh, eat pant, Flesky. That's right. Lounge around. back to the family lounge. Thank you so much. Just making sure I didn't miss anybody else. I don't think I did. Guys, I'm going to play some uh, some Star 2 tonight. I don't know how long of a stream this is going to be. I need I needed a chill night because I got to do a bunch of shit tomorrow. Um, and I needed, to, uh, I needed to just unwind a little bit. So I didn't want to go too fucking nuts with anything too stressful. We're going to head on down to Shit Hill Farms. It has been a while. Forsaken bacon. Feel bad to the family bacon. Thank you so much for that. Uh, fresh subij. Subij. Subij salsich. It's the sausage of, of the subage. Subage sausage. I'm sorry. I don't know what that. I don't know what's coming out of my mouth right now. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be one of those. It's a short stream and then stream for six hours. I think it's going to be a legitimately le legitimate, like, maximum two hour stream. Um. I have a couple of things I want to do in this game. I want to catch legendary fish. I have two legendary fish remaining. Uh, uh, maybe three if you count, like, the one in the ocean after you catch all the other ones. I don't know. And then I have to finish my community center. And really, all I need to finish my community center is one fish and one apple. Apparently apples are impossible to find in this fucking game. I planted some apple trees. They're taking like forever to grow So I don't know what's going on there uh, Yeah, I, I need like one apple to close out that 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 fucking community center thing Just one just one little app. I have the bat cave. I Have been playing this offline. Um, you know, I, I'm not streaming it. I've been playing it I've been going into that bat cave every time I turn the game on like every day in game I'm in that bat cave. What's in there? disappointment and guano all over my shoes. What a potent stench that creates those two things. Yes, Black Bear, really. Real Adam Punk just resub. Puke back to the family punk. It's not good, Carencio. Well, I mean, it's giving me other kinds of fruit. It's just not giving me the only fruit I need. Uh, here we go. The BRB was made for me by um, microgravity. Uh, microgravity. If microgravity is complementing the BRB, it was made by microgravity. So if you like it, microgravity, you can send your compliment to microgravity. All right. Now, first thing I like to do when I wake up in the morning is to check the uh, stock market 
and see how my money did overnight. Check on my 401k. Check on my, my bonds and my, uh, what's the other thing that I don't know what it is? <laughs> I like to check my bonds to make sure my bonds are going well. The queen of sauce is going to teach me a recipe I already know. Yes, already knew it. Thank you so much. Meanwhile, I have a ton left that I haven't learned yet. So I'm trying to figure out why it is. Look, look how many. Look how many I don't have. I, I should not be seeing reruns of this fucking show. Look, are you seeing this? Why, why are they showing me reruns? Look at that. I would say more than half of the recipes I don't have. Why is it showing me re reruns? Zacros is... I, I already told you I don't know what a bond is. Okay? I have no idea what any of that shit is. All I know is what we know about my character. From what we know of him. He would certainly play the stock market. He would like obsess over every little fucking you know investment. Every fucking dime that he puts in there. He would keep track of. I think the right way to play stocks is to buy them. And then just kind of like. Kind of leave them. And only sell them like when things get really scary. As long as you do that. I think over like years. You're going to have a net, a net gain. But then you got the people. You know. Buy. Buy. Sell. Sell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Buy right now. I mean. Buying is one thing. But selling I think. If you see a good buying opportunity. You know. Pay attention to that. But I mean. Unless a company like completely fucking fails, you're not you're not gonna like you're not gonna be ruined. Wednesday is always is always reruns. I did not know that. Oh, so only Sundays are the new episodes. Oh, so I'm looking at this shit for no reason. Oh, I'm an asshole. Okay. Hey, honey. Good morning, Mike. I made us a pot of coffee. <laughs> I find myself craving this robust flavor nearly every morning. See, I was mature about it this time. I'm gonna spam hug my husband. Oh, shit. Oh, he won't let me go now. What did I do? Oh, you hold it. You hold it down. And, yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, you could, you could stop now. I get it. That's too much affection. Okay, I, you're making me a little uncomfortable now. Why don't you back the fuck off? Please back the fuck off. Haven't done this in a while. Mullet muffins. Back to the family muffins. Wait, this isn't Mario Kart. Did I say it was going to be Mario Kart? Did my tweet say it was Mario Kart? Is the fucking stream, is, is it still Mario Kart? Is that still the title of the stream that I beefed at? You know what? It's fine. People will fucking... You have eyes. You'll see it's not Mario Kart. You'll figure it out. Uh, today is the dancing flower uh fertility dance or whatever the fuck uh festival thing so me and my uh, my husband though are gonna go cu cut up a rug down there even though it's outdoors so there's probably no rug we'll cut up some grass I, I i don't leave me alone we're gonna cut up a rug and we're gonna show them we're gonna show them how it's done we're gonna put the fucking the straits of this town to fucking shame with our fucking, it's gonna be like dancing with the stars on ice, except not on ice. It's gonna be out of fucking control. People are gonna be so jealous. Um, we're gonna make some mayonnaise first, though. I think it starts at like 10 a.m. They said. I got a, uh, I got a, I got a mail about it, but I completely ignored it. And in this game, when you when you're done with a piece of mail. You can't look at it again. It's gone forever. Why is it gone forever? Why isn't... I forgot to talk to my burbs. Why isn't there like an archive of all the fucking mail you receive in this game? Why, why don't they Why don't they do that? Why don't they just... How hard would that be? Thank you, um... Why would they do that? One of these tabs, it's like mail. And you can see every piece of mail you ever got sent. And the date. That it was sent to you. I mean, listen, I'm no, uh, I'm no programmer. I'm no developer, but seems simple and seems obvious. I forgot to let the burbs out. Who let the burbs out? I did. And I would do it again because I love them. 
All right, let's get some milk going. Cookie is out of milk. Would you believe it? And so is Chango. So we're gonna go down to the fertility festival. Uh, weird thing happened. Speaking of fertility. And no, no, let's get this out of the way now. I, I, and believe me, I'm as disappointed about it as you are. There's no such thing as butt preg in this game. So me and Elliot are gonna have to adopt. I know. So I don't know what point there is to go to the fertility dance, actually, now that, now that I really think about it. It makes his anus more fertile. Um... He asked me one night if we wanted to adopt a baby. And I said yes. And the next morning, there was no baby. And then I like I didn't I didn't go looking for for the baby. And then I was I was worried that like maybe I forgot about it and like I was supposed to feed it and it like starved up there. Or something horrible happened like that. Can that happen? Like can your baby starve? Like you need to be on top of a baby in this in this game. All right, thanks for the milk, chumps. Wait, we gotta cheese it. We have to curdle their tits, not to create a marketable product. All right, so I have four cows. There's four, there's four cheeses going. I did good. Oh, it takes 14 days. Hergertaf is saying that's probably what happened. Don't fuck with me, man. I, I don't don't tell me that shit. <laughs> it's 14 days for the baby to arrive uh, Meridian 5 but it's not but it's not pregnancy so I mean at that point just make it butt preg because if you're gonna make us wait the, the quote unquote 14 days for like you know regular like pregnancy you know what I mean then 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 just do it what are you talking about I mean it's an adoption it, the, the kid should arrive immediately it's already born what is the 14 day? Is that like the 14 day processing period for like the paperwork? Fuck off. Just make it butt preg. Just come on. Come on, Stardew. You went this far. I mean, why not go all the way? But, uh, what's up, Bob Dole? His uterus feeds it. <laughs> oh, I picked the wrong comment to read. Zachro says the kids are just a nuisance. Do they do anything? Again, I wanted to put them to work. I wanted to just like immediately shove them off like onto the fields and be like, start picking berries, like get out there. Like get out there. If you want to eat tonight, fucking just feed the cows, all that shit. What's up, college student? You have to wait for it to arrive by mail. By mail. Make sure to hydrate it once it's free from its chrysalis. So the, the children in this game are like fucking sea monkeys. They do absolutely nothing, Florentine. I think I'm going to re regurt. I think I'm going to regurt my decision to have children in this game. And why didn't I get the notification for the uh, the dance? Did I fuck up? Maybe I was just like wrong. Maybe the dance isn't today. Maybe it's not real. It's just in my fucking my imagination, this, the collective subconscious of of the planet, and me in the chat, our collective consciousness, the hive mind, if you will, that we share, and we do have one. I'm convinced of it. I was talking to Wolf before, and Wolf said, you should, um... You should do, like, a segment, or whatever. On weird, like, recipes from, like, the 50s and the 60s and 70s. And I had been thinking about doing that for, like, at least a month. I follow this Twitter account. It's called, uh, 70s Dinner Party. Has anybody has anybody seen this this uh this Twitter account 70s dinner party? So they go through like old magazines and shit and they get recipes and they put them on Twitter but uh they're fucking rancid. They I mean they're totally fucking rancid. Let me see if I can find a fun a fun one for you guys. Um <laughs> What is this? <laughs> All right, I got one. I got one here. Here we go. It's called baked banana with bacon and curry mayonnaise. An unusual dish to start off a dinner party. 
but one that is extremely popular and I think rather filling. Lightly flour and then egg wash each half and coat liberally with the flavored breadcrumbs. Wind the thin slice of de-rinded bacon helter-skelter fashion round the coated banana and place on a well-greased baking tray. This one doesn't seem too bad, though, honestly. This one doesn't seem too bad. I've, I've seen, like, really rancid ones. All right, I'm not going to fucking spend all night doing this, but I will show you this picture. There is no... The only accompanying text is surprise motherfuckers. <laughs> so, the, so that's a head of lettuce that's been stuffed with, I, I want to say... Fuck, God knows what. I, I can't even tell. Let's take a closer look. Is that meat? Like meat mousse? This looks like meat mousse. Uh, 50s jello mold. Okay, um, college student. A lot of the recipes I've seen on this Twitter involve involve jello in like weird and stupid ways. Where it's like, what are you doing with what are you doing with jello? What are you what are you talking about with jello jello egg jello and eggs? Don't do that. Are you kidding me? I think my favorite one that I saw. I'm gonna have to go digging through this to to find it, but um. It was fish loaf. So I want you I want you to imagine a meatloaf. But instead of, you know, instead of beef or or you know, uh whatever you would typically make a meatloaf uh, out of like my, my mom makes a mean turkey meatloaf, for example. It's just various seafood. And it's in a you cook it in a mold that is shaped like a fish. So you end up with this giant fucking nasty ass like fish paste cake. Made with like random kinds of fish and I guess other kinds of sea life. Whatever comes up in the fucking trawler, you know, whatever, whatever's not going to be sold wholesale. Put it in a fucking blender, toss it in that fish mold. It'll be a good time. Cook, serve, delicious. Oh, I know. D donut prune salad. Here's a crisp, fresh salad that will cause any meat and potatoes man to change his mind. Stew four prunes for each person. Pit the prunes and stuff with cottage cheese. Place two donuts on a lettuce leaf. <laughs> what are you talking about? Fill the donut centers with cottage cheese and then top each donut with a stuffed prune. Place two whole pitted prunes beside the donuts. Serve with mayonnaise. So, yeah, Wolf had said this. Is is it maybe like old people are, are weird? Because like they were just eating things be because they could. They were just make like throwing all these fucking recipes together and, and, and eating them just because like they fucking could. Like who like who cares? I think a lifetime of eating like fucking completely random shit thrown together ad hoc is probably going to have an effect on like your, your personality and your brain. Oh my god. So here's a <laughs> Here's a book cover. It's called Serving Food Attractively. And boy, are, are they ever So they took like a tray and put ice on it. And then they took artichokes and put what looks like caviar on the artichokes on the artichokes and then put like orange wedges like in the caviar. Can you think of anything fucking na nastier than this? <laughs> but I will say that to be fair, we have no idea if these things are valid recipes until we've actually eaten them. Like we could laugh at them and be like, come on. Come on, don't don't put hot dogs in tomato soup. What is, what is this fucking recipe? Chop hot dogs until they are the consistency of coarse cornmeal. Add the condensed tomato soup to the chopped hot dogs. Then stir in the grated cheese, horseradish, and mustard. Mix all well. Spread on cocktail crack crackers. This is like this is like you put a fucking six-year-old in the kitchen and just let him fucking run run loose 
with fuck. Yeah, do whatever you want. Like, make any kind of thing. It's like, oh, boy, I'm going to make a, a mustard and, and hot dog and peanut butter sandwich with, with some yogurt. And then, you know, an adult comes in and tells him, like, no, you can't do that. Well, in the 70s, every, ad adults were doing exactly that. That's what this feels like to me. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Hot, hot doggities. Kellogg's cornflake crumbs and a Reynolds wrap teach hot dogs a new trick. They're like corn dogs, but the the, uh, the coating on the outside is like crushed cornflakes. Have I seen the semen cookbook? Have Avador's. No, I've not seen the semen cookbook. And I think I'm good. I might be good. I might be good on that. I might be alright on that. There's too much going on. Like, there's too much nasty shit that I have to fucking like, keep up with. Can we just... Stop putting shit on my plate. Stop putting like semen dishes on my plate, okay? Semen side dishes, like little. He's just trying to put a little helping of like fucking semen macaroni salad on my fucking plate. No thanks. I'm good. I got a full plate over here, okay? Nick Delcat says, as a cook, I try everything at least once. All right. Well, you should try then. Let me find a really stupid one for you. You should, in that case, try the Frankfurter Spectacular. I don't even understand what I'm looking at because there's there's no text. It's just the image. It looks like a pineapple that's been wrapped in like filleted hot dogs. <laughs> what, what was their fucking obsession with hot dogs at this point in history? Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. Breakfasts. Beans on toast on grapefruit. There you go. Just cut a grapefruit in half. Slam some, some fucking toast on it. And, and then, uh, you know, and then beans. Put some beans on the grapefruit. Yeah. Chili grapefruits. Cool. Why would you do this? Why would you... Why would you... Do, hold on, they get stupider. <laughs> what is that, man? Why are they putting fucking... Why are they putting ketchup on pineapples? What was going on? Was it the acid? Was it the fucking... You know, because this was the 70s, right? So maybe it was all like the fucking acid, you know, like the drop... drop drop in and tune out or whatever the fuck like the Timothy Leary shit was going on like everybody was trying acid the government was like fucking slipping acid into people's fucking like Gatorade and shit maybe this is maybe the, maybe this is the result of that oh my god cause you gotta be on fucking drugs to come up with beans on a grapefruit like I don't care maybe maybe just weed like maybe this is munchies is this is this is tr pre internet trolling sacro? <laughs> Pancakes with goose liver filling. Oh man. Okay, to be fair, I do like I do like what wh whatever that fucking shit is. The goose the pate or um the I can't think of the, what the fucking the fucking word it, for it is. Like the 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 duck and or goose liver um chat, please help me out. No, nah, um, I like the pat the pate. No, nah, I like it. Foie gras, fuzzy guy. Thank you so much. Oh, they're getting they get more disgusting as you go. By the way, guys, this uh this Twitter account. If any, I'm gonna stop doing this now. This Twitter account is called Seventies Dinner Party. For anybody who wants to ruin their fucking day completely. You could go take a look at it. I uh, I think it's great. I enjoy it. On ironically. All right, ironically. Here's Johnny. Seriously though, why do they look so fucking nasty? I'm still not over it. I'm still not over the grotesque fucking pig sprites in this game. Like pigs don't look like that. Like look at that side profile. Why does it look like the fucking Michelin men? Like, why does it have segments like a fucking centipede? Like, that, the pigs do not look like that. Excuse me. Mm, truffle oil. Mm, Cha-ching.
They're Ganon pigs, uh, Gladys. What's up, Gladys? Good to see you tonight. Grenade pigs. I guess my inventory's full, so I can't do the, the truffle thing right now. I mean, they don't go anywhere, right? Like, they'll just stay there. Like, that's not, like, imperative, right? Nintendo, I did see the OG form of the Michelin Man, and... One night, I don't remember what we were doing. It might have been a Wheel of Trash stream, but we sat here. I, I went on, on Google, and I just found, like images of the Michelin man like for days. I did what I just did for like 15 minutes with like old Michelin man pictures. I can't do that kind of thing too many times in, in, in a stream because I feel like pe people who came to see the game get annoyed. And I don't, I don't blame them, but by the way, I don't at all. But like sometimes I like to just go off on tangents. You know how I do. All right, I'm going to sell this cheese. Actually, I'm going to sell all the cheese because I still have cheese aging in the basement. I'm going to sell that. Uh, oh, I got the coffee from my husband, though. I didn't even realize why that was in my inventory. That was very sweet of him. I'm going to have to go inside and give him an extra kiss. On the, the cheek. On the cheek. I'm trying to... I'm trying to fucking tone it down. I'm trying to tone it down. Alright, there's no reason to be as vulgar as I've been. It's, there's, there's just... There's just not. There's just not. Okay, it's not... It's not appropriate. I'm going to show you something real infuriating. Because you need a stack of three apples to finish the thing in the community center, I can't use these apples. I can't use the, the silver and the gold star apples. I'm still waiting for one more regular apple so I can finish the fuck community center. No, asshole. You pressed the wrong button. No, asshole. No, man. Stupid, right? Fucking, fucking stupid, right? Yeah, I'm really, I'm really unhappy about it. Or at least make it so, like, you don't have to put in a stack. And you could put in one apple at a time. Because if I had three silver star, or if I had three gold star, I'd, it, I'd be fine. You know, I'd it'd be no issue. <laughs> Shut up. No one was talking to you. Alright, I do have some more eggs. No, dude. I want you to put the egg in the mayonnaise machine. Come on, wake the fuck up. What are you talking about? What? Oh, because that one has an egg in it already. <laughs> what happened to the festival, though? Like, they said it was tomorrow, and I never saw the notification for it. Seder Masochism says... Sounds like you are not being true to yourself. Don't tone down the vulgarity. I was going to say that I was going to go in the house and kiss the tip of his penis. How is your experience enhanced by me saying that? How is your experience of the broadcast improved by me saying that I was going to kiss the tip of a man's penis? Please, please tell me. Tell me how and I'll, 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 I'll change my mind on it. I'll back off from this. In what way does that enhance the experience? Angry goat on roof says massively. It's time for a straw poll. It's time for a straw poll. I want to see a straw poll. How many people would prefer... Sick today. How many people would prefer that I said I'm going to go in the house and kiss the tip of my husband's penis? How many people would have preferred to have heard that how many, for how many people would that have enhanced the experience of this broadcast? That is the heart of the question. Like, that's the meat of the, of the issue right there. <laughs> Lex says that those, those kinds of jokes make him laugh out loud on, like, most movies and TV series. Well, you must just be, like, watching total shit then. Unlike me, who watches only the best... Like Naruto, for example. Um, I wanted to bring this up last night, I think, when we were talking about Naruto, but I but I forgot. And I don't know how it slipped in my mind. Did I miss a sub lemon line? Was it you? <laughs> Back to the family line. Uh, and if it wasn't, I would like to know that person's name so I can so I can thank them without having to go dig for it. Um, guys. Are we just, like, okay with that ninja who has, like, a fucking mouth on, on his on his hand? On both of his hands, there's, like, a mouth that just makes, like, mouth sounds. 
Like, are we really gonna be okay with that? Like, nobody had a problem with that, and that didn't, that didn't, that didn't air like recently, right? It was Hannibal's murder basement. That's that's a real name. Welcome to the family, Hannibal's murder basement. That's a very interesting name, uh, and I'm a huge fan of the uh, Silence of the Lambs series, by the way. So that's really cool. Um. Oof! I did get very creative with the farm allegro. <laughs> Well, Vanity says self, uh, self blowjobs, but at that point, like, are they really, are they really blowjobs? Because the mouth is in the hand, aren't they? At that point, like, hand jobs. They're blowjobs and hand jobs, so they are, they're bland jobs at that point, right? He gives bland jobs, or alternatively, uh, ho ho jobs. Which isn't as fun. It's not as fun. I like I like bland jobs. Not to mention the fact that there's like a steady supply of like jizz that comes out of the mouth. You know, I mean, there is right. Like, am I? Is this just immature on my part? It's a weird and disturbing ninja. I'm sorry. Hold jobs, fuzzy guy. Yeah, hold jobs. Carrot says, Mike, please. Did you did you see the thing that I'm talking about? Because I feel like if you saw the thing that I'm talking about, you wouldn't be Mike pleasing me. You'd be like, oh my god, what what is this? It's a very convoluted, like, ninja, but I mean I don't know why I'm 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 surprised that something in an anime is, is convoluted. I really don't. But even for I mean it just it just seems like like that one that one's going like above and beyond the, the call of duty you, you, you know what I mean like in terms of being fucking convoluted there's a mouth in his hand and the mouth hand spits out it's clay right they're not peaches allegro they're a a apricots not apricots apricots And God help you if you pronounce it apricots. God help you. Yeah, Zen Lazerbi. It's clay that comes out. Oh, it's jam time. Get ready to jam, boys. Hang out. Let me... Let me show you guys the strat. No, nope, don't eat the blueberry dick. Nope. Timing is critical here. And I'm fucking it up. I've done this whole shack in one go without getting the prompt to eat the fruit. I've done it. I promise you I've done it. Alright, now I just gotta check for the ones that aren't pulsating. There we go. We got any... We got any non-jigglers? Non, non there we go. Alright. Cool, man. It's the jiggling. They're all jiggling, chat. Did I miss one? Do you see... Do you see a non-jiggler? Nah, they're all jiggling. We're good. All right. Nice. All right. North left. There's north in the north left. <gasps> oh my god, I did miss one. Oh shit. I'm losing my touch here. I'm losing my touch. I'm losing my fucking competitive edge. All right, let's see what's going on in here. No fruit. The ancient fruit hasn't come in yet. I'm working on a whole uh, basement full of ancient fruit wine right now. Here's hoping it's worth it. And here's my completely useless bat cave. That uh, does not contain a single piece of fruit. What's up, Tanichi? This is the eSports channel. Farm hard or go home. We're farming hard here tonight. We're farming for the $100,000 prize. Only one farmer will go home with this money. I could have gotten the mushrooms, Allegro, but is the mushrooms cool? I feel like... Fuck the mushrooms. Oh, you know what we gotta do today? We gotta go hang out with the wizard a little bit. Whoa. That was weird. Oh, shit. Strawberries came in. Alright, am I gonna have time to... Give the, the wizard, charge the wizard's crystal, and then harvest all those strawberries. What do you think? 
the Stardew Valley Esports channel. Where real gamers compete for a real cash prize of $100,000. It's locked. Man, I thought the fucking wizard like partied all night, man. I thought he went hard. Up until the break of dawn, listening to fucking party rock is in the house tonight while fucking doing cocaine off of his fucking wizard sleeve. Allegro, I've been giving him the fairy... Fairy stones. This thing right here. Um, He likes them. But if there's something I could be doing that's better than that, I would like to know about it. No, you fucking cunt. Alright, we're gonna harvest these strawberries. Ching, 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 ching. You may think that I have enough money, but if you think I have enough money, then... You're a very naive person to think that there is such a thing as enough money in this world. The Void Essence is the best, so why have I been giving him the fucking fairy stones like a jerk-off? Oh, I know why. Because the chat told me to. That's why. Man, if I was giving him the, uh, the Void Essence, then the shit, man. I, I would have been friends with him already by now. Not Black Bear, not because I'm a moron, but because somebody, and I'm fairly certain it was you, had told me that you want to give him the Fairy Stones. Also, Nick Delcat Russo. We're back to the family. Nick, thank you so much. So now that I have that piece of intel, uh, I'm going to give him the Void Essence from now on. Chat told you to give him the Void Essence. No, I think... No, you're, you're a liar. No, you're lying again. Nah, Black Bear's lying again. Listen, I thought you were a bear, not a lion. Why you gotta be lying? It's fucking stupid. Alright, let's sell the jam. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna sell those apricots. Alright, so this was a fairly productive day. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to bed. I hope I didn't miss the dance. Punstar said, Each stream that I did of this, that they told me to use Void Essence... Nah, that's that's fake. That's that's fake and lies. Totally fake news. All right. So if I just grab this whole stack and I give it to him, it's it's only going to give him one, right? Like it's not going to give him the whole stack, like that's not a thing. Fucking lame. Because, yeah, I mean, I would have been giving him the Void Essence this whole time. I feel like you guys like to, in, in, in hindsight, like, make shit up. So you could be like, oh, I was the first one to tell him to do the Void... Nah. Nah, son. My love, I wouldn't trade you for 100 iridium bars. I would, however, trade you for 101 iridium bars. 100 is the, is the limit. But as soon as you offer one more bar, your ass is history, my love. Ellie says, good choice in marrying Elliot. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy with the, with the purchase. Because that's what it is to seduce somebody. It's just kind of buying their love, you know? You just have to spend a lot of money until they love you. Like, that's how that works. That's, that's how seduction works in this game. And in, in real life, honestly. Just spend enough money on somebody until they love you. That's how you raise kids, too. Like, that's how I was raised. Like my father, you know? He's like, how come you don't love me? I made a show you you didn't starve to death for 30 years. You were supposed to love me. Why did you, why did you not love me? Man, this shit's still not done. Son of a bitch. It's like, because you were a fucking bastard in literally every other fucking aspect. Sure, you didn't let me starve to death. But shit, even the gov- the, the, the fucking government will do that. There's fucking soup kitchens and shit. Strangers will make sure I don't starve to death. Speaking of which, I saw a story earlier tonight, uh... Omseal had uh, sent me this this link about a man in Pennsylvania who was arrested for meatball theft this past week. 
So, I forgot where in Pennsylvania. Probably, like, rural. I'm gonna imagine, like, rural Pennsylvania where, like, people fucking, you know, water their lawns in their fucking boxer shorts and shit. You know, that kind, that kind of a fucking place, right? Dude's cooking uh, meatballs. And for, for some reason, because I'm, I'm actually confused about the person who got robbed. Right? Because he put a pot of meatballs in his garage and then left the garage door open. Why, why is your pot of meatballs in your garage? So, somebody else saw the meatballs. Like, saw the pot of meatballs. Went into the garage... Stole the pot, okay? And then later on, the dude came out of his house and saw the empty pot in the street and called the cops. I want to, I want to see like the guy, like the guy's reaction, like to be a fly on the wall or, or whatever. Just the guy walks into his garage, goes, "Where's my meatballs? Where the fuck did my meatballs go? What the fuck? I put them here in my garage for safekeeping, and now they're gone." To cool, to cool them before serving them, Fatwick? Yeah, but that could have been done, like, in the kitchen, no? <laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> so the cops come, and they find the guy. And they find him, and he's, like, fucking just covered in, in marinara sauce. Like, his entire face and shirt are just fucking red with marinara sauce. And he looks at the cops, and he's like, I didn't do it! I, I didn't do it! Man, I still have the eggs in my inventory. I fucked up. I'm still not used to, like, multitasking. After three years of streaming, it's still really difficult for me to, like, talk and play a video game at the same time. You think, yeah, I'd, like, I'd, that I'd get better at it with time? No, no. If anything, I'm getting worse at it. No. Oh. There's another egg. Yeah, fuck meat meatball theft. And that's all she wrote. Like, I wanna know the guy the guy went to jail, by the way. Like he got charged. And he's sitting in a jail cell right now, lamenting his uh his choices. But I mean, I wanna know like like how do you get to a point where you steal meatball another man's meatballs? I'll tell you what, you do that around these parts. In this fucking like predominantly like Italian American fucking like like enclave. It's not really that at all, but it's funnier for the, the for what I'm saying They will just break your, your your fucking kneecaps like if you steal another man's meatballs That's like that's like fucking his wife Seriously like you're fuck like you're, you're, you're dead like you're fucking dead like they'll find you in a ditch with like every fucking bone in your body broken Like the end of casino like remember the end of casino what they do to Al, Al Pacino not Al Pacino what the fuck Who the fuck who the fuck is that? Joe Pesci, what they do to Joe Pesci at the end of Casino, that's what they do to you here in Staten Island if they find out you stole another man's meatballs. No, I'm not exaggerating. That's what happens. All right, we got some sheep to share. Oh, you stole the guy, that guy's meatballs? Oh, fuck. Now we got to leave you in a ditch. No, don't come to New York City and steal another man's meatballs. You're gonna have a bad fucking time. There's better things to do as a tourist. But, yeah, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out- Was he homeless? Was he starved- starving to death? Because, I mean, if he's like, you know, I mean, if he's, if he's like homeless and he's like fucking starving to death, I kind of feel like- I don't know, I kind of feel bad, you know? But if it's just like- if he like left- walked out of his house and saw a pot of meatballs, and he was like, All right. Those meatballs, they need to be mine. Then, you know, that that's like, that's twisted. The article was short, and there wasn't a lot more, uh, a lot more to it than that. So, I mean, I'd like, I'd like more backstory on the meat, the meatball, the meatball thief. You know? Was he alone? Did he have accomplices? Was it like fucking Ocean's Eleven, except instead of, you know, robbing a casino? You're stealing a fucking pot of meatballs from somebody's garage? Like, did he have to enlist the help of like of like a a, a a small Asian contortionist? Maybe it was like fuck Mission Impossible. He had to fucking like rappel in from the ceiling. 
avoiding like laser laser traps or laser trips or, or whatever the fuck to get to the pot of meatballs. He had to Tom Cruise his way in from the fucking skylight in the garage. I think that's the wrong the wrong fucking music. I think that was like that was like fucking James Bond music. Whatever. I'm trying to put eggs in the fucking truffle truffle machine. You see that? Oh man, what a fucking what a world. What a life this is. I live. I was trying to put eggs in the in the trough in the fucking yeah, in the truffle machine, Allegro. You saw that? Fucking outstanding. <laughs> Nemesis says you can't go Whoa man! You can't do that, man. Why? Is it like a health code violation? Is it uh is it a cross contamination concern? Because I'm pretty sure I could do whatever the fuck I want. This is my farm. You know, it's a shame that you can't eat the mayonnaise. I'd like to just see my character hork down an entire jar of mayonnaise. Just fucking sit there, like... Just fucking naked in a corner, like fucking using his hands to scoop out handfuls of mayonnaise and just shoveling it into his fucking mouth. Like a reprobate. Like the fucking... <laughs> the meatball thief. <laughs> just fucking... He, he didn't have utensils, he definitely ate them with his hands. In the, in the middle of the street. The guy had to be starving to death. He had to be. Making the story, in my opinion, less funny, but... Is that you, IRL Pramina? Pratch, can you please get the fuck out of my way? Every time I want to get on this, on this horse, there, there's a duck in the way, and I feel like it's always Pratch. Alright. Listen... I didn't let these these chickens out. And there is like tons of truffle oil to be made. So that's gotta happen like right now. Alright. See the reason he can't eat the mayonnaise, uh, green kakapo, is because he needs to sell it. You know? Uh, hello, Hellbent Blade. Thanks for coming tonight. The character would be wolfing up duck mayos while regretting his marriage with the Casanova of a man. I don't think my character regrets his marriage. Not yet. Not yet. It's still, it's still early. We will see what happens. Bebop just resub. Welcome back to the Bebop. Thank you so much for the resub, Bebop. Hope you're enjoying your choice to uh, waste your hot dog money here in the channel. Hope you don't have any regrets about the money that you've spent. Here you go, you ungrateful scumbags. Have some water. You can divorce in the game, Allegro, but... I don't know. I feel like that's a whole thing. I'd rather just fucking actively work on making him resent me until he leaves of his own accord instead of having to go through the trouble of going down to this to this fucking place and uh, filing papers and everything getting a lawyer and spending all that money i will just fucking make him hate me to the point where he can't stand being in the same fucking room with me which is not hard to do as that i mean that that just kind of happened like with everybody i've ever dated on, on you know without me trying so, I mean, I actually, I feel like that's an inevitability, inevitability anyway, so, I mean... In fact, I'd be surprised if it didn't happen. What was the voice I was doing? Tingle? Ah, this is imbued with potent arcane energies. It's very useful for my studies. <laughs> Thank you, Kululimpa. And I'm gonna talk to him. I mean, this is what it looks like now. Um... Not even fucking, well, at halfway. I feel like I had it looking better than that at one point. I mean, was, was I like fucking it up by giving him the fairy crystals? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just be an insufferable bastard. I'll just be myself until Elliot's like, you know what? Like, I'm out of here. Like, I don't want to wait for a fucking, you know, for a lawyer. I don't want to wait for divorce papers. I don't want to wait for any of that shit. Like, I'm just gone. And in order to in order to, 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 to ensure 
I never have to look at you ever again. Like, we'll just stay legally married. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Like, I just, I just need to fucking never see you ever again. I'll go that route with it. That is the way you get, get her done, Bill Ponderosa. What's up, Bill? Thank you for coming to the channel tonight. Um, we got to sell some of this shit. And what happened to the dance? I'm still waiting for the, the fucking dance to happen. What's going on? Dr. Orchlob saw a Pink Floyd uh, The Wall laser light show. Yeah, but did you see a Pink Floyd The Wall laser light show on weeds? Did you, did you see it on weeds? I've seen it on weeds. However, I regret that. And I, I strongly suggest that nobody do any kind of drugs ever. Once again, we went over that last night. I'm going to go over it again tonight. Don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. That's my official st statement on this. Okay? Mom! Sky on the internet said that I should smoke weed, then go see the Pink Floyd the Wall Laser Light Show. No. They're fantastic musicians, and in fact... I resent the idea that's pretty prevalent actually that you need to be on drugs to enjoy the fucking catalog of Pink Floyd that's absurd and stupid and it's kind of like I don't know an insult to them as musicians I I, I, I want to say you know if somebody was like oh I can I could listen to Red Vox but only when I'm on drugs that's not a compliment Meridian 5, I have a friend, and she's like, she's like, I mean, I, I can't listen to Pink Floyd at all, like, unless I'm high, and I, I don't, I don't, in fact, I'm not, I'm not, even when I'm high, I'm not going to listen to Pink Floyd, because why, why would I want to listen to music that I can only enjoy when, I, when I'm on drugs or something, like, you, I, you, you have to be on drugs to enjoy the music, I'm like, no, like, fuck you, that's one of my favorite bands, fuck eat shit. But it's not the truth, Nick. Eat shit. <laughs> it's the best weed music. Oh my god. No, it's fucking fantastic. Drugs or no drugs. Get out of here. Fuck you. It's an opinion. Alright, don't jump down my dick hole for an opinion. Guys. Uh, I had to find a... Rainbow shell. And I never did. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm looking for tips from the chat. If anybody's got a tip. The tip of my husband's peen. If anybody's got a tip. To help me find a rainbow shell, I will take the tip. This is what you gotta do, man. You gotta inject weeds into your dick. And then you gotta listen to Pink Floyd the Wall backwards. While you watch... Not the Wizard of Oz, but the sequel to the Wizard of Oz, Return to Oz. And it syncs up perfectly, and it you know, blow your fucking minds, man. Rainbow shells are only at the beach during the summer. Thank you, Pika Force. I don't know why I'm looking at this again. Oh, this is not the thing. Okay. Hello, my love. A crackling fire adds wonderful ambiance to the house. Every piece of wood burns in a unique way. Yeah, does it? Why, why, why did I marry you? That's so not true. Like, it did fucking... Please. No, don't inject weeds into your deck. And I'll tell you what else you shouldn't inject into your deck. You shouldn't inject stem cells into your deck. Like this story that I saw about that dude. Uh, he's like a health guru. And in order to make his dick bigger, injected stem cells into his dick. Now, he didn't do it himself. He went to like a, st like a stem cell clinic. Yes, dry bony, this shit again. He went to a, a clinic and they took his own stem cells and injected them into his dick. Yeah, 
He's a YouTuber and uh, a fucking, I don't know. I, 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 he's on social media or some shit. I, I don't know. He's like a guy. He's a health guy. Which, if you're a health guy, you should know not to inject probably anything uh, in, in, into your dick. Well, Ellie Igor, this, despite that not being how it works, it's what he did. Okay, and now he's got a magnum dong. No, he doesn't have a magnum dong because it, it, it very obviously wouldn't work. And he said that uh, immediately afterwards he had like, I don't know, like stronger erections or, or whatever. Like it did something. But what did he think? What, what did he think? Like he was going to wake up and, and he was, he was going to have like a bigger deck. Like he was, oh my God, it grew like 10 inches or something. No, man. Come on, common sense will tell you that doesn't work. No, Clark. No. Do you even jelk, bro? I don't know what that is, Sacro, but is that if it's in, in, injecting uh, anything into your dick, it's a bad idea and it doesn't work. I mean, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why he did it. And it's not because he thought it was going to actually, you know, enlarge his dick. He did it for attention. Because listen, I never heard of this guy before I saw the story about him injecting stem cells into his dick. Now, I know about him. I mean, that's why he did it. For attention. Which, I mean, listen, I'm always looking for more exposure for my shit. Is that what it takes? Like, is that all I got to do? Do I just got to inject something into my dick? Because cause I'll do it. I mean, if that's going to help fucking, you know, get my um, my YouTube videos out, out, out there and shit. You know, I'm sitting here fucking, like, promoting my tweets on Twitter. Fucking spending all this money. It's not doing shit. If it's as simple as injecting something into my dick, I mean, consider it done. Easy. I mean, what should I inject? 70s grapefruit beans, hair gratafim? All right. Yeah, let's do it. I was thinking like food coloring. Like maybe I could do something cool. Make it like magenta or something, you know? Make it like a fun color. Don't do that. Don't don't inject anything into your body unless you're a fucking unless you're at the doctor, or it's you're diabetic and it's in, insulin. Mom, this guy on the internet told me not to take my insulin. Listen, I mean I'm fucking horrified by needles, to begin with. And now you're talking about putting a needle near near my dick. No, thank you. Why would, why would anybody, like, oh my god, no! No, man! Tonic juice, should I inject Dorito dust and, ma <laughs> and Mountain Dew? Marinara sauce, today is a good day? Oh my god. All right, well, the good news is my strawberry crops came in. Which means we're gonna ignore the entire farm until it's done. Make it pink colored, M2 million. Hello, Douglas. Check out my brand spanking new dink dick. Guys, it's it's getting to a point where we're having to fucking tell people things that really should be obvious. Things that should be basic common sense. Don't inject things into your dick. And yes, he did do it at a quote unquote medical facility. But you know what else happened at this medical facility? They injected stem cells into people's eyes uh, for like, uh, I think they were trying to cure their like nearsightedness or something and they went blind. Eye tattoos. Remember the eye tattoos, Black Bear? Remember that? Like, come on, don't get a tattoo on your eye. It should be obvious, but it's not. They fucked people up in a clinical trial. What did it say, Om, specifically? I feel like that's a thing where we shouldn't, we shouldn't, like, talk out of our ass on that. What exactly happened there? What's up, Gunhilda? Why so many strawberries? Uh, because money. Why anything? Why is anything anything in this world? You're gonna find 99% of the time the answer is money. 
Uh, but why specifically strawberries? As Ellie points out. They grow fast. And they don't need to be replanted. Meaning that after the first harvest, they will continue to produce strawberries. Which makes it like a real time saver. And in my opinion, the most bang for your buck. Because time is money. Also, yeah, I think... Aren't they, like, proven to be the most cost-effective crop for the season? And it's Florida, Ellie. Surprising no one, the dick injections went down in Florida. Once again, it's Florida. Yeah, Green Cockapaw, I'm not fucking around here. They are the most, co uh, yeah, the most bang for the buck, Nine Red, right? And I believe in... In the summer, it's blueberries, right? Which, uh, we gotta start thinking about that soon. Planting all those blueberries, because there's only, like, a couple days left in the season. So, I gotta get that... I get gotta get that shit in order. Um... Fuck, what else? Um... What is the... What is the best crop for fall? chat. Uh, it's star fruit now that I unlocked the Desert Meridian 5 for, for, for summer. The thing about that, though, is the star fruit will have to be replanted. I like the, uh, I like the crops that just, like, yeah, you don't have to replant them. They just keep producing. I heard corn is actually the worst crop, uh, lemon line, so if you're trying to jate me, nice try. It's cranberries in the fall. Not good at this. Yeah, cranberries. Same thing. Uh, you plant them once, they keep producing after the first harvest. Never have to replant the cranberries. So, I mean, yeah, that's it. Strawberries, blueberries, cranberries, and then in the fucking winter, you don't, uh, you don't plant anything. Got that Stardew uh, multiplayer expansion coming out, but it looks like it's not going to just be the addition of multiplayer. It's going to also be like more content. I don't know how much more, but the, the dev concerned ape, he tweeted a picture of a boat making me feel like, I don't know, boats and boating and maybe yachting, Douglas? May be a part of the new expansion, or, or DLC, whatever the fuck uh, they're calling it. Butt Preg confirmed. No, Hagrid Taffim. He did not tweet anything about Butt, butt Preg. I am sad. Sad to report. Very, very sad to report. So, yeah. I think when the DLC comes out, I am going to start a new farm. And find uh, find some some bros to play with. Like how many um, how many people can play on one file? And is it the type of thing where I'm gonna be able to play the game while like to say it's not my file? Can I play the game when the person who made the file isn't playing the game? I doubt that, right? Because that means they have to set up servers, and I don't see them doing that. It's just too not good at this. Arized, uh... You like the little houses you get when you visit other people's farms. It's... It's probably kind of like what goes on in Animal Crossing. Where, like, you have to be invited to somebody's farm. And then they have to be online and all that shit. Like, the only way you could go to somebody's... Village in Animal Crossing... Uh, New Leaf. When they're offline... Is if they uploaded their town to the dream, the dream theater, whatever the fuck. Dream theater, like the band, right? What, what is it? The dream, uh, dream thing? Dream center? You know what I'm talking about. Buster in a box is uh, betting on it being a host file where only the host can make progress by himself. Well, I mean, at that point... Like, what is the- what is the point of the multiplayer? Like, what do you- what do you do? You know, what do you do in the multiplayer at that point? The dream sweet, Vinehart, thank you. 
cool story. I don't care how many crows you scared off. Get out of my face. I feel like in the best case scenario, it's like Factorio. Yeah, Carrot. Where you both play together on, on the host's save. I feel like that's the best the best way to go. To have fun, Vinehart. But yeah, like, what are you gonna do? Like, like split up the farm responsibilities? Like, alright, I'm gonna fucking hold the ground. You're gonna follow behind me with the seeds and then plant the seeds. And then somebody else is gonna follow behind them and water the seeds. Get a little, like, assembly line farming going. Oh, I can't wait to start, like, treating you people like manual labor. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna open the farm up to everybody. Like, a anybody in the chat is gonna be able to, co to come to my farm. If you touch anything, I fucking break your legs. If you touch my meatballs, I bust your fucking kneecaps and leave you in a ditch. All right, I'm gonna sell all the shrubs. I'm gonna get that out of my inventory. I have no use for that right now. Um, I mean, why don't I just sell these fucking things if I'm not gonna be giving them to the wizard anymore? Hey guys, I know I'm late, but I had important berry picking business to attend to. You guys still love me, right? Yeah, they still love me. They're good. They're good burbs. The best burbs. It's a shame I'm gonna have to use them in the, uh... The new Angry Birds eSport competition. And launch them into, uh... Launch them into buildings with catapults. I was just kidding, by the way. They're not going to make you launch actual birds into buildings. I was just, I was just talking out of my ass. If you couldn't tell, I was making that up. I lied about that. Sorry. Sorry if anybody got their hopes up for, for real IRL angry birds. It was just the jape, bro. Oni King is like, oh, really? Oh, come on. Oh, you you ruined my life. Give me the milk. No comments from the peanut gallery, please. All right, everybody is going to get to go outside. Just just calm down. Let me let me do my thing. I have a lot of shit going on right now. Kintabar. Oh, uh, just three sub. Welcome back to the family, Kinto. Thank you so much, uh Kintabar for the resub. Um there were some truffles hiding up here. I'm going to I'm going to take care of them. Armadillo called their dad a cuck IRL and I blamed this, this stream <laughs> Did they get upset like did they even know what the fuck like did they just look at you and be like what what did you call me? Lemon line wants to hear the story about about gambit From yesterday. I just told the story though What do you want like give it give it some time like you guys you guys space out these these gambit stories Hey guys, what's up? I'm here for the eggs. Feck you! Lest we forget, I have a chicken named Feku. Oh, he got legitimately upset, Armadillo. <laughs> I don't see how it's my fault. Like, I just used the word. Though I've been told that I have a way of infecting people's vocabulary when they watch my streams. And I think I need to, like... I don't know, make a, a limited liability, like, corporation thing to protect myself from the, the fallout of, of just such a, just such a problem. Yes, Nemesis, the bunnies and the chickens are, are crossbreeding. That's why I put them in there together. And their unsightly children are an affront to God. 
See, I got vanity, not pride, saying kunk. You know how happy that makes me that I did that to you? Do you know the fucking perverse joy that brings me? That I fucking put the word kunk into the daily vocabulary of, of, of at least one person? Can, can, I can't even begin to tell you the joy that that brings me. That I was able to fucking infect somebody's psyche with my fucking bullshit. Makes me so happy. Oh, yes. Oh, I do have a fucking purpose. That's why I was put on this earth. To spread the mind virus, Roused Hour. Isn't that just like what a, what a meme is? Like a mind virus that spreads? Alright, let's get rid of all of this shit. Boom. 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 Get rid of that. It's the definition of a meme. It's like a mind virus that just spreads from person to person. Once you see it, you can't get it out of your fucking head. Those are the, the best memes work that way. It's a disease. It's like brain AIDS. Ein Paladin is conk jizz. Oh, you're asking about the definition of conk? Let me give you guys a little bit of backstory on conk. How the fuck did I find it last time? Uh, I think this is going to work. Hold on. Uh, it's a tweet from Drill. Someone on here just called me a kunk because my wife won't let me buy a harp. And I think this is one of my favorite tweets from him. But he's got a lot of outstanding tweets. He's had a very long quote-unquote career here on Twitter. But how fucking perfect is that, though? So he... It, it, like the, it obviously didn't happen. But... The idea that he went on to Twitter to, to say like, oh yeah, my wife wouldn't let me buy a harp. And then some somebody saw that and was like, oh man, yeah, he's fucking, he's cocked by his wife. Like his wife won't let him do what he wants. Like he's not a man anymore because his wife won't let him buy a musical instrument. So he called him a cuck. And then this person being unfamiliar with the word made another tweet talking about how somebody called him a cuck, but misspelled the word. Or misremembered the word, making it, it, it. There's like there's like five levels of awesome to this tweet, which is why I love it so much. 